What is up, everybody? Hungry Cabbygon here. My voice is still kind of messed up. I apologize. Um, don't know what's happened the last couple of days. I've completely lost my voice. Like, I could barely talk. It's kind of coming back now. I was not really sick. I just lost my voice. Um, anyway, it's getting better. Still doesn't sound great, but it's uh, never does. So getting a little bit better. Anyway, I've got a lot of mystery packs, so I really wanted to open them. So, um, I have got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. These ones <clears throat> are a bit more expensive than usual. A thousand yen each. Went a little bit crazy. I don't know why. I just kind of just bought a whole bunch of them. But anyway, we have, uh, fourteen. So, Let's see how we go. I'm excited to see what we get in these ones because they're a bit more expensive than usual. First one. All right, let's get sleeves ready. Let's not mess around. All right, first one. Okay, all right. Well, I can guess what this is. I'm assuming we have all of the pieces of the Greninja V Union. Yes, we do. All right, they gave us all the pieces. That's generous of them. That's not bad. Greninja is, is an alright one to get. The um, the Mewtwo is like really expensive. It's, you can sell the Mewtwo V Union for like more than 3,000 yen. It's it's quite expensive. So that is a good one if you get that. Uh, Greninja, I'm not sure recently, but um, Greninja is always popular. So it's still a good one to get and seems like decent. I don't know if anyone ever really tried to play it, but it seems decent. Alright, there's our big Greninja right there. Alright, next one. I think I can see something this way. Alright, we have a hollow. <laughs> Alright, we got the, uh, I heard people saying the background looks like baked beans, and now I, I, I can't unsee it. Yes. Anyway, that's a new one. I don't have this, so we take a spider, baked bean in encrusted spider. Nice. All right. Next one. I think I can see some texturing that way. Are we going to get SRs in like all of these? I hope so. All right. We got a uh, rapid strike mustard. Pretty cool. Do have uh, a few of these, but Full Art Trainer is still a Full Art Trainer, so we will not complain with that. Not bad. Alright, next one. When there's not many cards, you can really get through them quick. Um, don't know which way we're expected to open this. Alright. Genesect. That was an expensive card. Ooh, Manaphy. Alright. Got a nice art rare, Manaphy. Very nice. It will go in the pile. Genesect was very expensive. It was very desirable to pull when Fusion Strike came out, but now it's just, uh, yeah, being reprinted, so it's very cheap. It's good if you want to actually play the, uh, the Mew deck, though. This could be a good sign. We have just a regular card. All right, what is this? Oh! Arezu. That's her name, right? Arezu. From uh, Legends Arceus. I pulled this card, actually, myself before, but this is a pretty good one. I think still reasonably pricey, like 40 to 50 bucks, or 4 to... That's a good one. Very good. All right. That one is a good hit. And makes me feel not so bad about my investment into buying all these. All right. This one. Why does this one have more cards now? All right. We got hollows. Ditto. Love that ditto. Reggie Lucky VMAX. Actually pretty good. Pretty expensive at the moment. Very desirable cards. So... Probably you can sell it for like 500 yen in a card shop. So that's 
that's pretty good. We got. I know, <laughs> you pay ten, you pay a thousand yen, you get five hundred yen back, but it's better than getting zero back, you know. So I'm I'm happy with that. All right, what do we got? We got Hisuian Zoroark. We got a Zapdos. Wait, that goes here. What is this? <laughs> that's not so good for a, a thousand yen. Uh, the Eternatus, we do have a lot. But anyway, we can have a binder full of radiance. So, and we'll sleeve up this. Just a, an old sleeve. Because it's just going to go into a box. So, alright, next one. Let's not have packs like that. All right, we got Halucha. <laughs> Stone Jonah. All right, a little bit older. Sword and Shield base set. It's eh, it's okay. Stone Jonah V. We'll take it. A few years old now. Two thousand nineteen, actually. It's, it is kind of old now. All right. Uh, what do we got? This one. Which way we need to open? This way. Alright, we got a Lucario. Oh, we got a little bread dog. Art rare. And then what is this? Ooh, Lugia. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Still worth a few bones for a Lugia. So we'll take that. And then we've got our nice little doggy here. Get the sleeve. I'll take as many art rares and stuff as they want to give me. Actually, kind of getting through this pretty quick. Let's see this one. I don't know which way this one should open. All right, we got a Origin Dialga V Star, Magnazone Art Rare, another Lugia. All right. I mean, that's <clears throat> not a bad pack, honestly. We'll take that. Magnazone. Slaving away in the factory. And then this is just throw in, I guess, these days. They're not really worth much because, like I said, they're all reprinted. So they just throw a couple of them in there to pad it out a bit, which is fine. Uh, all right. I don't know about this one either. Rapion. We got Leafion V Star. Lugia V-Star, okay, that's a good one too. So we're getting a, a bit of a Lugia deck happening here. Uh, speaking of, I was just looking on my desk, where is it? I was looking... Oh, uh, where did I put it? I just had it. I'm going to have a quick look for it. If I can find it, I'll show you. Just speaking of Lugias, I was just looking, kind of tidying up my desk a little bit, and... Where is it? Is it here? You'd think I would be able to keep better track of these things, but uh, apparently not. I literally just had it. Where was it? This one? This one. Ah, this is it, right? Yeah, yeah. I was just looking on my desk and I found the uh, promo V-Star and three gold Lugia V-Stars, so... Not worth as much as they were when I got them, unfortunately. When I got it, it was like pretty expensive card. and <clears throat> I got them from Mystery Packs, but now they're not that expensive, surprisingly. Give it time. They'll get back there eventually. All right. So anyway, that's just speaking of Lugias. Sorry. Just showing off my Lugia collection around the desk. All right, we got another Rapid Strike Mustard. Kind of going full circle back to the beginning now. Okay. Oh no. This is not the, the dreaded one from Eevee Heroes. Uh, this is the one from the, uh, <clears throat> what was it? VMAX Climax, but still, still a scary sight for anyone <laughs> buying Japanese Pokemon cards. All right, last one. Can we finish strong? 
this. Mm, not bad. Radiant Charizard still not a horribly misaligned one, unfortunately. So, mm, did we get our money's worth? I'm going to go out on a limb and say no, <laughs> but not the worst. I feel like a lot of these times <clears throat> when I do these videos, at the time I feel like, eh, not that good. And then I'll look back in like a year or two and I'll be like, actually, those cards that I pulled are now worth this much money. So it was actually pretty good in the long run. So I don't know. Not the best, but not the worst. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Uh, check out the channel for more videos. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you in the next one. Take it easy.